Welcome back to our special Guys Tell All Hour. And what better way to wrap up this year than with a little relationship advice from four hunky four guys. Four hunky guys and these guys just kidding. <laughs> First up, Ben Higgins, who was looking for love in all the wrong places on The Bachelorette. Oh. That's all right. It's not over yet. And The and Bachelor. The Bachelor. <laughs> ben is single and ready to mingle. Next up, we have the chart-topping single dad who's the hottest thing in country music right now. We're talking about Jimmy Allen. But he is also single. Let's uh -huh. be okay. And uh, our pal, our, and our man panel veteran, comedian Chuck Nice, who is married with three kids, but he has to be reminded of that on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, the man behind the bods of some of Hollywood's biggest stars, Don Saladino. He's the owner of Drive 495. Jim, married father of two. All right, yeah. guys, shall we go across the street? Let's, Let's go, Don Adorable. You guys, I'm here with another celebrity, Marie Dukes from South Carolina. She has a huge entourage. Look at all them. And along with a question. What's your question? How do younger men feel about dating older women? Oh. Well, if I wasn't married, I'd be over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can so take this. What about, okay. What about, what, ben? Yeah, what about I don't. I, I don't mind it at all. Yeah. I actually kind of. I think I want a woman that like pushes me, uh, that that drives me. And I think an older woman definitely knows how to do that. Okay. That's called a mom. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh oh. No, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you, what do you guys think? When I was single, yes. when I was totally into it. Yeah, yeah. you were totally into it. Really? Yeah. But is there a limit to it? I mean, it's no. like Betty White. Betty what? She's got Did flair. Betty sexy. <laughs> Betty sexy. <I> Very <laughs> sexy. And all the women kind of, she knows who she is. Mm -hmm. She's comfortable. Mm -hmm. There's no games. She, yeah. They're very straightforward yeah. on what they want and what they yeah. don't want. Yeah. You know, and, you know, okay. sometimes sounds young like uh, they're all into that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might get lucky. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Question two. All right. Girls feel a lot of pressure to kiss a guy on New Year's. Do guys feel that same pressure? It's New Year's Eve. The clock's about to strike midnight. Do you all look around if you're not with someone? Yeah. No? And, and normally I work New Year's Eve, so yeah. I end up kissing another comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be a romantic kiss, though? I mean, can't it just be I'm a... i kissing my kids. Yeah. Oh, I love okay. it. I'm Come kissing on. my little 10-year-old boy and my 11-year-old girl. Oh, that's like, the sweetest. And then I'm finding my wife. It's typically how it goes. We're like, where are you? Yeah. Right, so you guys are at a party. It's, yeah. It's like a minute to midnight. Did you start You're getting looking? clammy? I'm actually thinking I've At only least. had one New Year's kiss in my life. So oh, it must really? not be a thing with me. I was just thinking oh. that through, yeah. Comes to the okay. comedy club this Same. year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there He'll for lay you, one on you, I'm baby. there for you, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go back across to Donna. Same. I'm here with Jessica from Eula, Texas. How do men feel about women proposing? Ooh. Ooh. Women, oh, you gotta know? I'm, I'm, I'm old-fashioned. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna offend someone, but the guy, I don't yeah. know. Chuck, same. Yeah, if you have to ask him, then that's probably not the guy or the time. So yeah. it may not be the guy or it may not be the time. But if you got to ask him, then something's wrong. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Guys, you think the same? Same, same. Yeah. I, would, yeah, yeah. I don't agree. I can't. Yeah. Ben doesn't agree. I don't know. I, I kind of like uh, the idea that you have the conversation. I still think the man needs to get down on one knee. But mm -hmm. leading up to it, I like that the woman may say, it's time that we should, should get married. Stop. And then you, 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 don't want her to, oh, you don't want her dropping on one knee asking you. No, that. I can't. No, I can't. Oh, okay. okay. Right. I can't just had to clarify. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what? I don't know if that's a bad thing. What I'm saying is that like a sexist comment? No. Is it, no, you know, nowadays? You're allowed to have your feelings. But no, 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 no. But I, I, I believe old fashioned. Yeah. I think, the, I think the guy should initiate it. I still believe, like, I asked my father in law. I went for a ride with him. We were, we were you know, in their hometown and we talked about it. Do you think it. it's okay to propose if you have not had the discussion? Like, would you have ever pr proposed if you guys had not talked about getting married? Oh, uh, no. It was so natural. It was just so normal. It just evolved. But it you asked anything. her dad. Like, yeah, this was I, a but plan it just, it, just yeah. it, it evolved. There was never a yeah. conversation where it was like, when's it the was right organic. time? It was yeah. organic. Yeah. to the girl without yeah. talking to her about it? Yeah, would you just, you know oh, what? No, no you, you, you would have you to have, have some sort of some sort of discussion. agreement at some point right. when we feel the, the yeah. it's time. Yeah, not a I'll surprise. I'll ask you. And it yeah. won't be a no. You want to know the wife. answer's going to be yes before you ask. What, should we ask Ben or not? Yes, because okay, Ben is surprising. Ask, let's ask ben. I'm surprising. I, I, you know, I got engaged on a television yeah. show. Yeah, we heard about it. Um, and so it was a very untraditional way to do it. But we did have the conversation. And I did ask her dad. Yeah. But I also asked three other dads as well. Nah. Oh, God. Oh, my so God. I, and, it, <laughs> and it didn't work out, did it? It didn't work out. So I think there's a better way. Do you regret going on the show? Uh, not, not typically. It really is done. I mean, I'm sitting here with you all. Yeah. Because of the show. Right. Like, that would never happen, right? Right. Yeah, but this, um, is, this but is penance. <laughs> 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 We're sorry. Um, no, I didn't. Back.
now with more guys tell all and dishing about dating advice today is bachelor ben higgins plus, plus country star jimmy allen comedian chuck nice and celebrity trainer don Saladino. yeah what hoda said yeah, those, okay what's those, next okay let's go to this question right here if i've only gone on a few dates with someone should i expect to spend new year's with them Ooh. i mean we're about that time i mean you know is yeah it, you got three days yeah, yeah. is it july <laughs> like when you yeah. have, like when you meet them. No, you like, just you met them a few, it, yeah, like a week or so before New Year's. You don't expect a New Year's ask. Nah, you should no? make plans, and th okay. and then and then make make tentative plans, and then if they come through and say, hey, what are you doing New Year's? Then you can okay. go ahead and do it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with liking the individual though and just asking? What are you doing for New Year's? Do you yeah. want to hang out? Like You're it's right. not. I don't think. Don't, don't make it like a big formal date. We just overthink things yeah. sometimes. Just right. be you. Yeah. All right. Don adorable across the street. I'm here with a very special lady, Priscilla from New York, who has a crush on you, Ben. So this question might be for you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ben. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, we had to do it. <laughs> what is your biggest deal breaker? Biggest deal you break. already said it to us. Yeah, I, but I also think this. I have a pet peeve. I, I don't like when people describe themselves. Like, I'm the most loving person. So on first dates, you know, you're often trying to get to know each other. Like, well, I just care too much. That would be a deal breaker oh. for me if somebody... If let somebody, me find out, right, yeah, is what you're saying. Let yeah, me find let out me about find you. Let me find that out. Let me, prove it to me in your actions. Uh-huh. Right, so. show me. What are deal breakers for you guys? For me, it's normally a beard. <laughs> <laughs> a beard. <laughs> you also said bad breath. You don't like to kiss girls with bad breath. Yeah, Come on, let's be honest. No, it, it is. Bad breath and I don't, do not get along. We'll stick in my head forever. <laughs> You'll smell it my, for way too long. My deal breaker is someone that's not motivated, someone that's not ambitious, not, not chasing anything. Right. You know, I have to. They don't know their purpose. No yet. matter what yeah. she's chasing, no matter what the career, you have to be doing. What if she's trying? Something. Still doesn't know her that purpose. She's figuring it she's, out. Some people don't know yet. Right? And even when you're still figuring it out, be okay with that. I mean, the attitude where you just. Eh, I'm oh just yeah, here. I know that. Meh. Yeah. yeah. Meh. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes to all this, but also uh, family. If I if I if I met a woman and we started dating and she had no interest in having a family, I'd, oh, I'd be honest. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> Did you have a deal breaker? Um, <clears throat> gosh, I don't. I I'm think not talking I, about eighth grade. <laughs> 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 I got an Instagram user asks this question. This is Christopher Brinson. It's a guy. Is it cool to date your best friend's ex if he's moved on to the next relationship? Whoa. Oh. If you have a conversation with him. <clears throat> because one of my best friends, uh -huh. two years after me and the girl stopped dating, he said, listen, Jimmy, you know, we've gotten close. I said, are you cool? I said, I don't care because I'm like, I didn't have feelings for her the way he does. And who am I? to stand in the way for the woman that God might have for him. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I could have yeah. never meant to date her. I could yeah. have just been the, the, the vessel used to introduce yeah. him to her. Yeah. So I'm... But that was two it. years in between. Right. This sounds like it's like right yeah. after, so like if, moving on. Would you be honest and say, look, I'm actually uncomfortable if you're dating her? Because that would be... Who's going to yeah. say that? I don't I know. Mean, would you know, anyone? No. I, what I would say is, why shouldn't you be as miserable as I was? <laughs> 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 okay, man, have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can think we get one more. Wait, let's go to Donna. Hey, Donna. Hi, guys. I'm here with Deandra from Eula, Texas. Deandra, what's your question? Okay, so how do you react whenever you see your flawless girlfriend without makeup for the first time? Oh, first time. Wow. I bet you most of you like it better. Yeah, I, I do. Love, I, do. I, I think do? it's the best. Yeah. I remember that moment, yeah, with, with the, my two most serious relationships, that first time that you just feel comfortable. Yeah. You know, you can just let everything down. I think it is the, one of the coolest moments because you get to know somebody fully. I find it sexier. Yeah. I find sweatpants, sweatshirts, oh, yes. hats, just rolling yes. out of bed, yeah. brushing your teeth, going. Like, that's yeah, sexy. Funny. Most yeah. guys like yeah. that. Like, yeah. I, I that, that, clean, that, that right? college look with, mm -hmm. the, with the hoodie yeah. on and the hat. And it's, it's, too much, too, it's too much like, makeup a turn off yes. for you guys. Yes. It is? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. For me, it Absolutely. happened the opposite way. My wife saw me without makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to worry what she was thinking. <laughs> you guys. This we, is me. <laughs>